Monday morning, John North here with you with our panelists and our two guests, Demonica Bryan, a Democrat, and Becky Duncan Massey, a Republican, both seeking the District 6 Senate seat. I want to come back to you, Demonica, and real quick, I uh, want to try and co cover a couple topics if we can. But if you are elected, one of the things you are probably surely going to face is this whole question of taking public money for vouchers mm -hmm. and giving it to families so that they can do whatever in terms of sending their kids for a private type education. Um, don't want a five minute answer but okay. could you give, give us a good concise answer yes. on your thoughts about that? Um, I do not agree with the school voucher program simply because it will take money from our public schools and that infrastructure that they need. Um, it, it For several reasons. One, because they don't work. So when you look at states like Louisiana, Florida, Arizona, it has shown to not work. Um, if, they're, if private schools are going to be taking public school dollars, they need to be held to the same standard as our public schools. That's the testing, that's the teacher certification, that's the licensure, that's all the things if they're going to be taking public dollars. Also, um, our private schools have the right to deny admissions to any student for any reasons. And so if your child has a 504 or IEP or maybe they are in the um, RIT program, they can absolutely be denied admission. And so simply because they don't work. And it's unrealistic to think that an everyday working class Tennessean is going to be able to cover the remaining balance because seven grand and the average private school tuition is $16,000. So that seven grand, that leaves a $9,000 windfall. Most everyday working Tennesseans do not have access to that type of money to be able to pay that additional fee. As well as the travel, how are they gonna get their children to school? Because our rural counties having to come to West Knoxville is, is cumbersome. And then also thinking about food, thinking about uniforms, all those different things are gonna have to come out of the pocket of those specific parents. And and so it, and really to say that it's a choice somehow is not really, it's not really a choice. It is absolutely just, it, it's not a choice. Parents will not have a choice to send their children there. Everyday working class Tennesseans won't have a choice. And I think it's very disheartening and it's very misleading to present it as though it's a choice. Becky, you've been there. Uh, you've experienced those votes. It's been not so popular with some people in the state. What are your thoughts about it coming back up? Well, I mean, we know it's going to come back up. We don't know what it's going to look like exactly. Um, in the past, I have not voted for the vouchers, the, the bills in the past, other than I did help with one that let students from one county go to another county and the money followed them. And I actually sponsored that. Was that public and, to public? Yes, it that's did. public to public. And, the, and actually the vouchers could be public to public. It could be public to charter. It could be public to private. So it's not just public to private. But uh, I think there's, um, I've never been against them because I understand money follows the person, which is used, it's something that's used in the disability world. But, uh, you know, I come from a line of public educators. I've always had the support from the educators in our area. And, um, but I, I've had concerns about it and it's just more weighed out, but we have invested additional $2.4 billion in our public education K through 12 in the last eight or nine years, just additional dollars. And it is the second highest funded uh, bucket that we have. So, you know, I'm gonna have to look at what the bill looks like and, and feel like if it's protected. I, I agree, I think a lot of our working class folks would not have the money to go to private schools. I don't think our very wealthy people will fiddle with it. Um, I think it's the, probably the one bucket of people that could, could would like it that if people have spoken to me about is our middle income folks and that don't have quite enough money to make it, but they would like to go to, to, say to a Christian school or some other other school. But I'm, I'm gonna wait and see what it looks like, but I believe we've got to meet the kids' needs where they are and we need to make all education acceptable to folks. You got so, a quick yes or no? Uh, well, Dominica, Becky obviously made a name of herself on transportation. Mm -hmm. If you could pick, and that's not quite the way it works up there, okay. but if you could pick, what committee would you find important and you'd like to be on if you were to represent this district? Education. 
And why? The Education Committee. Because I have, in, in, my, oh, sorry. <laughs> in my experience, having to almost visit every school in the eight counties that I serve, I've seen the phenomenal job that our public educators do with our children. I've seen the critical role that our public education system plays in not only the development of our children, but also their well-being. And so to have a voice to fight for those, um, those individuals in our public schools is absolutely what I'll be interested in. You're chair of uh, Senate Transportation. You can sit with that? Um, if the lieutenant governor wants me to, but, <laughs> but I, I enjoy that. I think it's so important. It's transportation and safety. So we have Homeland Security, um, Highway Patrol, and then I serve on the health committee, in which coming from my background of long-term care, that one's real important to me. Becky Duncan Massey, thank you. Demonica Bryan, thanks very much. We appreciate both of you being here this morning. We'll see you on the ballot November 5th. Also, early voting starts October 16th, so we might see you then. All right, it's time for another break. Get yourself another cup of coffee. When we come back, we'll talk a little talk around about politics.